But I wanted to show you this uh, one segment because it is so funny, absurd. I mean, this is theory of the absurd. So not only is Putin feeding Tucker in this interview Russian propaganda, but he's also feeding Tucker Nazi, I mean, Nazi from Nazi Germany propaganda. And Tucker, Tucker challenges him? What do you guys think? You guys think he challenges him? No, no. All right, so let's watch this segment. I, I'm, I'm going to show it to you. I, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Just read the, the translation on the first slide. Now, I have verified with Russian speaker that this is indeed what Putin said, because I thought this was a joke, right? I, I think a lot of people online thought this was a joke, but, you know, watch this, right? The Poles overplayed and forced Hitler to start World War II by invading them. Why did World War II start on September 1, 1939 in Poland? It didn't want to negotiate. Hitler had no other choice but to start bringing his plan to life in Poland. <laughs> what do you do with laugh? And Tucker's facilitating this. He's facilitating this nonsense. It was a disgusting, fawning, ridiculous interview. And worse than that, Tucker didn't prep. So he was surprised by many of Putin's answer, answers, in spite of the fact that his answers were obvious. I knew exactly what his answers were going to be. And, and, and Tucker was surprised by them, particularly his whole thing about why did you invade Ukraine? And Tucker's surprised that he goes into a history lesson. If you've watched my discussions of why Putin invaded Ukraine, why Putin invaded Ukraine, then um, I, I, it's, it, it basically Putin confirmed everything I said on his interview and Tucker, uh, and Tucker just bought it, Tucker just swallowed it and Tucker did nothing, right? It was a pathetic interview, that is integration. Uh, there was nothing new, nothing interesting. Nothing you couldn't have found out by reading Putin's previous talks. There was no real pushback except the one point about the Wall Street Journal journalist, and that led nowhere. Putin handled it, and, and, and it just moved on, and uh, Tucker got nothing from it. It was, sorry, but it was pathetic. He shouldn't have done it. No American journalist should be interviewing uh, Putin. Uh, and it, it turned out exactly the way I expected it to be, uh, that is just, uh, uh, you know, uh, providing Putin with just one more avenue for his propaganda. That's it. And, and Putin doesn't lack avenues, so for Putin, what the hell?